What's up guys, Justin here with the Rhino Essential. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to download and install plugin files into Rhino to expand the program's functionality. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first off, note that you can see a lot of these um, plugins by going to foodforrhino.com. Notice how there's things in here for Rhino apps, there's things in here for Grasshopper apps, which we're not gonna talk about in this video, as well as some other scripts and some other things that you can download. In this particular situation, we're gonna focus on Rhino apps apps and how we can download them and install them into Rhino. And so actually we don't want to do anything on this website. This is just a good place where we can kind of like um, scroll through and see these and search them, other things like that. However, to actually download and install them, let's say that we wanted to download this Rhino Polyhedra plugin. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back into Rhino and you can either go over to the new in V7 tab and click on the button for package manager or you can type in package manager and hit the enter key. What that's gonna do is that's actually going to pop up a package manager win window that's gonna go out and it's going to find different plugins for Rhino. And so this is gonna give you a big list of tools that you can see and download. And notice how what this is going to do is this is going to, if you click on them, give you information about the different tools. So for example, they've got different versions that you can download, so all the older versions are in here, as well as the URL of where it's from. So notice how not all of these are from Food for Rhino, right? Some of these are in other places as well. But in this case, what we wanna do is we wanna look for that Rhino Polyhedra plugin. So we're gonna go Rhino, Poly right here, and it's gonna go search for that. And that's gonna pop this up in just a second. Um, I have kind of a slow internet connection at home, but there we go. So that's gonna pop this up right here. We'll notice how that's gonna give you the option to come over here and install this plugin. So if I click on the install button, what that's gonna do is that's gonna pop up a little window. And you can click on install right here. Well, that's going to download the plugin and it's gonna install it inside of Rhino. All right, so notice how you are going to get this button anytime that you install one of these. It's gonna say changes cannot be completed while Rhino is open. That just means you need to restart Rhino. All right, so notice how now that I'm back in Rhino, after I've restarted it, this toolbar is popping up from that plugin that I installed. And so we can use this in order to add our different shapes or whatever it is that we wanna do in here. So we can access the tool like this, but in addition to being able to access the tool, you can also go into your tools options and if you don't see that toolbar for whatever reason you can go into your toolbars function notice how rhino polyhedra is going to show up in here you can just check the box in order to get that to show up so that's all managed directly inside of the package manager notice how if i tab over to the installed function right here i can use this in order to install or uninstall um, different uh, packages so for example i have this add bolt included in here. If I wanted to uninstall that from Rhino, I can click on the uninstall button right here in order to remove that. And so when I remove that, notice how that's no longer going to show up in my list. So you can use the package manager in order to find new plugins, install them, and also uninstall them inside of Rhino. All right, so now that we can install and enable plugins inside of Rhino, we can start talking about some of the more popular plugins. So leave a comment below. Let me know what plugins you'd like me to talk about. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.